By now, I'm sure that you've probably heard of ChatGPT because there's so many things that it can do and so many ways that it can help you within your business. That's why in this video, I'm going to share with you four ways to leverage ChatGPT as a low content book publisher. So here we are on the inside of chat GPT and this is where all of the magic happens. Now if you want to come through and try this out this is currently free but that could change in the future. If you want to come through and check it out I will leave a link for this down in the description below. Go through go through the sign up process and then you will be able to use this software. Now like I said I'm going to share with you four ways that you can leverage chat GPT within your own low content book publishing business because there's some pretty amazing things that this software can. So let's go and dive straight into this so you can see how you can use it in your own self publishing business. Now what I've already gone ahead and done is got everything up here and we're just going to go through the prompts that I fed this AI to get these results. So again, the first way is to use it to create a brand name. So if you ever get stuck and you're never too sure what your author name should be, you can start putting prompts here within chat GPT and it's going to give you some ideas on what you can actually create your brand or your author name around. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now with all these AIs which are prompt driven, so just like Midjourney, now Midjourney is text to image, you can actually create things like colouring pages using Midjourney. In fact what I'll do is link one of my latest videos right there right now in the corner of the screen and on a card. So go through and watch that so you can see what you can actually create with AI and Midjourney. But with that, that is text to image. So you're using prompts. It's the same with this AI just here. So when coming up with a brand name, what I did was put, I need a brand name for my children's story publishing brand. Now this can be anything. This could be for a planner brand, a journal brand. You can be very specific on what your publishing brand is going to be and who's it for. So I put children's story publishing brand, the books are made for four to eight year olds. Can you make the name short, cute and memorable? And with an instance, this chat GPT gave me 10 examples on what I could call my brand. And as you can see, they actually sound pretty good. Now, if you don't like your names, you can then put, so let's scroll down a little bit. Can you make the names more unique? So they gave me another 10 examples on names I could call my publishing brand. So right here, I quite liked this one, Whimsy Woods. So I scrolled down and then I entered, can you expand 10 more times because so I was still having a look around it did put a few in here which was already up here especially like this whimsy woods now I really liked this so what I went ahead and done is can you make a tagline for whimsy woods so it's come up with the brand name and it can also create you a tagline for your brand as well and it's put sure here's a few suggestions for taglines for a children's story publishing brand called Whimsy Woods. So we have enter the world of Whimsy Woods and let your imagination roam free. Where stories come to life and adventures await. Discover the magic of reading in Whimsy Woods. Some of these are just really, really good. Now what I did was, can you also make a one paragraph description about Whimsy Woods? So now the AI is actually going to give me a description about this publishing brand. So if we scroll down, we can have a little read. So it says, Welcome to Whimsy Woods, the magical place where children's imaginations come to life through stories. Our brand is dedicated to publishing high quality, age appropriate books for four to eight year olds that inspire creativity 
and a love of reading. So as you can see, what it spits out is really, really high quality. But what I wanted to do was add one of these taglines to the description as well. So I put, can you use the same description, but also add our tagline number two? So if we scroll up a little bit, number two is just here, and that's this tagline just here. So then it incorporated that into the description, as we can see just here. Or, should I say, as it says, just here. So that's the first way you can utilize and leverage chat GPT in your self-publishing business, and that's to utilize it to come up with a brand name for your publishing brand and just an avatar on the whole. But that's the first way. The second way, is to use it for research. Now you can find so many cool niches by using this AI for your low content books. There's so many that you can find. Now if you are going to do research here with this AI, you still need to take that niche over to Amazon and check to see if it looks like a good niche to publish books in and just to see if there's demand for that book. But here's what I asked the AI. Can you give me a list of the best selling low content book niches that sell on Amazon? And it gave me planners, coloring books, notebooks, recipe books, address books, guest books, sketchbooks, quite a few different niches. Then I said, can you give me 20 more niches? And they started to get even better. So we have baby memory books, calendars. We can't really do calendars on KDP, so I wouldn't do that. But wedding planners, scrapbooks, bullet journals, that would be more of a dot grid journal, then meditation, recipes, mood and emotions. You can get so many great ideas just by using this AI. Now, once you've actually found a niche here and then you've checked on Amazon to see if there's any demand, you can then use this AI to dive deeper into a certain type of book and it can tell you how to structure and lay out the contents of that book. So let's just say I went with baby memory books. This looks good so I decided to dive deeper. So what you can ask the AI is can you tell me what each page of a baby memory book would have inside? And to my surprise we got some really detailed information on how we could go about creating a baby memory book. So it even gives you a little description just here. A baby memory book is a type of low content book that is designed to document and preserve memories and milestones of a child's early years. So what would actually be inside of the book? Well, the AI has told us that. A cover page, birth and hospital stay. And then it goes into detail a bit more on each one of these topics. So family tree, firsts, milestones, photos, holidays and special occasions. So right here, we now have all of the information that we need to actually go ahead and create this type of book. And it's going to be the same for any type of book that you want to create. So this is why it's just a really great tool to help you research niches for low content book publishing. Now, this brings me on to my third way of leveraging chat gpt as a self-publisher and that is to use it to come up with titles and subtitles for your book so i stayed along the side of a baby memory book now what i put was can you come up with a title for a baby memory book to sell on amazon and he said sure here are a few ideas for titles for baby memory book that could be sold on Amazon. Now, as we can see, they actually look pretty good. There's some really great ideas here. But then I asked it, can you give me 10 more? So certainly, here are, here are 10 additional ideas for titles for a baby memory book. Now remember, this baby memory book can be anything, and it can help you come up with ideas for your titles and subtitles in any niche. But if we take a look through some of these, they actually look really good. Now, one that I liked was this one. 
Sweet Baby Dreams, a memory book for recording every moment. So that's just a really great title. Most of these titles here I couldn't have come up with myself. And all of these results here are just a million times better than what I could personally do myself. But now this brings me on to my fourth and final way that you can leverage ChatGPT as a self-publisher, and that is by using it to help you write descriptions for your books. So what I went ahead and done was put, can you create me an Amazon listing description for point number 13? Now again, if we go back to 13, that's this title just here, Sweet Baby Dreams, a memory book for recording every moment. So now, because I put, can you create me an Amazon listing description, for point number 13 is going to create me a description all around that title. So here we are. Let's take a little look at this. So celebrate every milestone and special moment with Baby's First Adventures, a memory book for documenting every step. Now they actually got that wrong. Now if I wanted to rectify this, you can say number 13 again and it will sort it out. But something like this, I could quite easily put that title in there anyway. But if we re read the rest, it says this beautifully designed keepsake book is the perfect way to capture and cherish the memories of your little one's first years. Now, all of this just here is really detailed and a really great description. Now, what I went ahead and done after that was, can you create five bullet points about this book? So now I have five bullet points, which I can also use. Now, I thought these were a little bit long. So what I did was asked if they could make them shorter. Certainly. Now, if we scroll down, we can see that it's even made them shorter. So now we have a paragraph or two up the top about our book, which we can use in our description. We then have bullet points as well, which were shortened. And then I asked the AI to explain in one sentence why someone should buy this book. They told me why just here. And I said, make it shorter. So now I have this one little paragraph here, this sentence that says this baby memory book is the perfect way to capture and cherish the memories of your little one's first years. So now I have a full description that I could use for this book as well if I were to create it, which is pretty amazing. Now, that's everything which I wanted to share. That's four ways that you can leverage ChatGPT in your own self-publishing business. First way is by using it to build a brand name and avatar for your publishing business. The second way is to help you research all these different niches that you can create books around. The third way is to help it craft your titles and subtitles for your books as well. And the fourth and final way is to help you create better descriptions. In fact, descriptions that sell your books. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. And if you enjoyed this AI video, click right here and watch this one so you can see how you can use AI to help you create colouring pages.